major storm system is battering the west coast right now and the extreme conditions are expected to continue. Heavy rains are soaking communities in California. It's also led to mudslides as mandatory evacuations are ordered in areas hit hard by the recent devastating wildfires. Meanwhile, a rare blizzard warning is in place in parts of California's high country. Residents have been stocking up for the extreme conditions. Yeah, everybody's just been constantly flowing in and out and stopping in to get food and it's been crazy. The crazy weather will push across the country. It's expected to bring snow and ice to millions. Winter has also arrived in Florida, where cold temperatures forced water parks in Orlando to shut down today. And closer to home, brutally cold air is moving into our region, something people are blaming on the polar vortex. Polar vortex. <laughs> Storm Team 10 meteorologist Chris Michaels joins us with more on what exactly that means. Well, Chris? ever since 2014, guys, it seems like one of those buzzwords that just gets thrown around, especially on a, on a national level. But what we want to kind of do for you is break down some of the myths as to what it isn't and then, of course, what it is and how it may impact us in the coming weeks. So let's first start out with what it isn't. Number one, it's nothing new. Number two, it's not something that hits you like a storm system. But when pieces of it break off from the poles, that deliver some cold air into the eastern U.S. So the polar vortex kind of resides in the stratosphere, which is the layer of air above airplane level. When warmer air tries to like sneak into the stratosphere, the polar vortex can weaken. And at that point, pieces of it can break off and move into the eastern U.S., at which point we really start to see some frigid air coming in. A sign of that coming in by Sunday night into Monday, and then the bigger blast of cold air may wait until closer to the end of the month. But getting ready for that, we're talking temperatures Monday morning in the single digits. You factor in the wind, and you're talking about temperatures feeling like they're below zero. Adding on to that, there is the potential for something called a flash freeze. Coming up in a few minutes, Chief Meteorologist Jeff Hanowich is going to talk about what that means and what that may mean for the Monday morning commute. That's coming up in the full forecast.